Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I hope you are all doing incredibly well today. My name is Brittany, if you are new here. I create fashion styling videos here on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram. I share daily over there, a little bit of our, our life. We just moved out to like Southern California and absolutely love it. And I share a ton of outfit reels and outfit inspiration over there. So follow me over there. You can also find me in the Shop LTK app where you can easily shop everything. But don't worry if you don't have the app, I have everything linked down below in the description box if you're on mobile hit tap the title of this video and all the links will drop and you can easily shop there as always leave me a comment if you need anything else I'm happy to answer happy to chat I want to get to know you guys leave me a comment down below and if you do like this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe I'm almost to 2,000 subscribers I'm super excited about that so thank you to each and every single one of you who have already subscribed and if you are new hit the subscribe button thank you today's video I'm sharing a woman's sneaker styling haul I often get questions on my Instagram from time to time and then um, a couple of you have asked for this video here on YouTube as well so just really a roundup of my favorite sneakers why I like them I'm gonna review how they fit and then of course share some outfit inspiration from past videos I have a lot of different a lot of times I grab for sneakers. I'm definitely like a sneaker and heel kind of girl. I feel like in between I don't have as much, but if you are curious and you're on the hunt for some good spring shoes, I have a spring and summer shoe haul coming up shortly here in the next week and a half. So stay tuned for that. Okay, but let's hop right into today's video, my woman sneaker styling haul. Okay, hands down and without a doubt, my favorite and most worn, most loved sneaker that I own is the Nike Air Force One. These are the 07s. Um, multiple retailers, they're kind of everywhere. They do come in and out of stock. That's a good indicator that they are literally still very on trend and everyone freaking loves them. So what I love about these is they're just super classic. I mean, I don't think anything gets more classic for women's sneakers than, the, than these Nike Air Force Ones. But I love that it has this little detailing here where you can see, yep, you can see like the Air Force One little logo, just says AF1, but just a super classic pair. They are so comfortable. These are shoes that I can wear and be gone all day, walking miles and miles and miles. Uh, they fit true to size. I got a six and a half. That's typically what I wear. Now you can see here, they have a couple marks on them. Cleaning tips for these. Um, I would just use a wet one, like a wet wipe, and then you can also use a magic eraser on these, but they do wonders in cleaning them up. Just absolutely love them, wear them nonstop. I think they look cute with dresses. I think they look cute, obviously, with jeans, a t-shirt, jeans, um, a blouse. Like They're just like that cool girl shoe, and if you have not tried them, I would totally 100% try them. Like I said, they're so classic. I even got my mom a pair because she saw them at my house and just try them on and was like holy crap these are so comfortable and I was like you should try them so I think for like her birthday I had ordered them and it was funny because she was out and somebody was like oh I like your sneakers my mom was like thanks my daughter just got them or something and she, the woman goes my daughter has them too <laughs> um, so my mom was like should I feel weird about that but no they are just the classic sneaker of all sneakers for women and I think they are just literally perfect for everyone and the outfit styling of these are like limitless so definitely my favorite and most worn sneaker okay the next shoe which are very similar these are the nike air force one shadows so what i love about them is that obviously they have this pop of color i mean they're pretty bright but you guys i'm honestly shocked at how much i can actually um style these I feel like color is just in, if you've been following my channel, you know I've been like saying in almost every video, oh, I'm really gravita gravitating towards bright colors and you know, I'm starting to just like kind of get more into colors, a little less, new. I mean, obviously neutrals will always be, I mean, I love neutrals, you get a lot of value, you can rewear a ton of things, but I do think a pop of color here and then is super nice and these, I was just like, will I wear them? But I am shocked, I've had them for maybe... I mean, since we've been out here for so two and a half months and I have worn the heck out of them. So you'll see there's a couple wear to this, but the same thing, as I said, as I had mentioned before, a little wet one and a magic eraser and those light markings will come right up. Um, you can definitely do that on 
anything leather based suede is a whole different story suede you have to be really careful well, careful about what you wipe on it but for these kind of leather a wet one and a magic eraser takes the markings right off absolutely love them i mean they're just like fun with jeans you can wear these with the dress too a skirt and a like a little blouse again the air force ones are just like so cool and you can just like style them literally multiple ways sweatpants biker shorts and a t-shirt jeans and you know blouse jeans and a sweater anything like that i mean they're just literally super cool okay and then my next favorite sneakers that i wear all the time are these nike air max they are the the 90s air max um there's like a bunch of different ones i personally just love these ones these were like a little bit of a chunkier sneaker that i kind of got into so i was like let me test the waters here is it too chunky and the answer would be no in my opinion i actually love that they are they have like a chunkier sole down here but they're still kind of narrow so i feel like it's it like these elongate your legs especially i find myself wearing these a lot with joggers or biker shorts and like a crop top so for me it's just kind of nice to get like i mean anything that will make me look longer and thinner i mean sure <laughs> So I do really like these for those. Of course, I've worn these with jeans. You can crop your jeans to kind of show them off a little bit more. You can wear just like flare jeans, but I absolutely love these. The comfort is 100% on here. Now I don't work out in these and I don't work out in my Air Force Ones. I do see some girls who will do that, especially in the Air Force Ones um, and also in Converse. Like if you have like a flat, like a flat sneaker like that it's good for squatting or deadlifting in but these are definitely like more these sneakers i style more in like an outfit like a fashion way i have a couple athletic sneakers i'll share with you guys i have two that are my all-time favorite and i really don't buy anything else besides these two types but for me the air force ones and the nike air max i definitely style like in everyday outfits um and don't wear them to the gym now with that being said super comfortable so i do go bike riding in these i walk miles in these you know we're walking like along the beach the boardwalks all that um they are just such super comfortable shoes these ones i have linked down below you can get them from revolve if you haven't shopped revolve free shipping free returns and it comes literally like within two to three business days so um that's where i think that's where i got these like i said you can get them in a bunch of different places they do go in and out of stock because they are a really popular item still i've had these for probably maybe almost a year now no probably longer yeah i definitely have had them longer actually so again i think they look pretty good i wear them all the time same situation here with some of these lighter marks i just need to take a wet one and yeah you can kind of see a couple of markings it's, it's like not a big deal but i just need to take a wet one and a magic eraser and those markings will come right up but absolutely love these like i said true to size i'm wearing a six and a half in these they also come in different variations all white black um a couple ones with like tan like different colors so you can definitely find them in multiple colors i think this is just so classic in the white and black that you can't really find as much i mean you can definitely find them but these are the nike blazer lows and kind of similar to the air max that's why i ended up going with these because literally like this color combination is so classic and i've worn the heck out of these these i've had for a long while i got them in the nordstrom anniversary sale probably like four years ago and i wear the heck out of them same situation they clean up really easily these are just kind of like more shoes that i wear with jeans more than anything i'm trying to think if i've worn them with like biker shorts and stuff i mean i could see myself doing that like biker shorts like a sports bra maybe tie a shirt around your waist um for like an athletic but not like truly like my workout like i said i like like sneaker sneakers for my workout like athletic sneakers but absolutely love these they have one out right now that are like i think like a tan and pink color it looks really pretty so if you think the black is like too stark for you or like too much nike then i would check those ones out i'll have them linked below and i'll put a picture here but um yeah definitely just like a good sneaker all around what i think is trending a little bit more for the blazers are like a higher top one so it comes up a little bit so those would probably be the pair that i would look to buy next but if you're someone like likes low sneakers smaller sneakers just kind of getting into sneakers i do think these are a really great pair and you can definitely style them multiple ways 
Now speaking about a higher top version shoe, these are the Chuck Taylor All-Star All Move Platform High Top Sneaker. Now I picked these up in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, kind of as an introduction to get into a platform and more of like a higher top shoe because I was like kind of on the fence. But literally love these and wear the heck out of them. Love this little platform base here. It gives you like a little bit of a height. I was kind of worried that this was going to be a little too chunky. But I actually, you put them on and I don't feel that way. They are incredibly soft on the inside. I'm wearing my true size here, size six and a half. Like I said, I picked these up in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. Was it last year? Or year before? No, it was probably last year, honestly. So yeah, if you watched those videos, you would have seen this. But um, they do come in several different colors. I don't know if this exact like move platform sneaker is still in stock, but I know for sure like these Converse Chuck Taylors, they do come, they have platform ones. So I'll link those below. But again, I'm just so shocked at how comfortable these are. Now these, I would also style this with the skirt and like a crop top, um, a skirt and a sweat. I mean, I would just style this with dresses, skirts, and like a cardigan. Um, you could definitely wear this like with this outfit. But I would also style this with biker shorts and like a sports bra as well. So that's kind of the thing you'll you'll notice with my sneakers. With all my sneakers, I feel like they can all be styled multiple ways. And they're very versatile. Nothing's like too crazy. You'll see they're mostly white, but that is truly what I love and wear the most of. These Chuck Taylor platform ones are a perfect addition to what I have. And like I said, a little bit of a higher top. You know, this is kind of like the first time I've gotten a high top sneaker and I absolutely love them. They don't make me feel weird, like my legs are too big or ankles. But definitely give them a try, but like I said, incredibly comfortable. And of course, you have the classic Converse um, lows. I just absolutely love these. Don't wear them as much because I do wear my Air Force Ones more often, but I've had these for several, several years. I mean, quite a few years and I do grab them from time to time. I just kind of think like the Air Force Ones and the Air Max, I definitely wear more. But if you are into kind of like that very classic look, kind of getting into sneakers too, I think this would be a good shoe. It's flat. It's cute. They're easily recognized. You know, you kind of see this in a dress and I would think that most people are like, oh, that's cute, you know, because I feel like you've seen that styling for a while now. Oh, these ones I sized up a half a size, so I got a seven. Everything else I've shared with you so far has been a six and a half, which is my usual size. Size. So for these, I sized up just a half size. Okay, and then I have these Vans just in white, of course. You see Vans everywhere out here. I mean, they're obviously like a... A, North, a West Coast brand. I do really like them. You have like a more snug fit and they're definitely like slimmer and slender. But I also like these with just jeans and a sweater. Like this outfit would be super cute. Cute. I think this is cute with um, like a floral tight fitted dress as well. I mean any dress but you know to give you guys ideas I feel like a like a bodycon dress in this is just super cute. It's kind of like a little bit unexpected but these are very comfortable compared to my other sneakers. I would not grab these over like the Nike Air Force ones. Like I kind of have to be in the mood for these, but I did want to share them because I do really like them. And I think like right now with jeans and like a turtleneck, these are cute. They're a little bit more slimmer. So you might feel like not too like bulky. I feel like sometimes like a big turtleneck and now our jeans aren't, you know, if you're wearing flare jeans or a little bit wider leg jeans, plus Air Force ones, if you're not used to that kind of look, then I think these are a little bit thinner and slimmer and I think like that it may be a good option for you. But I do love my Vans. I also just got an old school pair. I'll grab those. Okay, so I actually just got these old school tapered and unfortunately I got these on a major sale. I paid $30 for these, but you can see that they're a little bit different with the lace up. I absolutely love the checkered to them. I just think they're so cute. I'm super into the checkered trend here you <laughs> see with my little clip but anyways i do really like these haven't worn them a ton yet i literally just got them just shared them actually on my instagram in a box like an um, unboxing reel um so check that out if you're interested but so far i mean i think i'm expecting them to be as comfortable as the other vans and even probably similar to the chuck taylor's but i do think the pink checkers out i have found it in all of again from revolve so you can get that in like two to three days but Sizing wise, I got a six and a half, so I would say true to size. And I'm definitely excited to style these 
um, multiple ways. It, they do come in like a ton of colors. So if you're not into the checkered print and you kind of want like a pink, something a little more feminine, I think that would be a great option. But like I said, tons of colors. Okay, and then the last sneaker before I get into the two athletic kinds that I wear are these Vejas. You can tell they are literally brand new. I just got them maybe a couple weeks ago, but I did order a size six. So I sized down a half a size, but I've seen Vejas like all over. They come in multiple styles. These are the Campos in the natural white. I do like that it has like the cream. I do really love this shoe has obviously like a little bit of the light gray, but I love that it's a stark white with the cream bottom. I just feel like I'll be able to style this a ton of different ways, especially when I'm wearing creams and white together, which I just shared in my last, I think I shared in two videos so far, that one outfit where I mixed it and I was like, I like cream and white together. So I'm super excited about these. I don't have much to say about them yet because I, I haven't worn them. I do know other people's review is that, um, it does take a little bit of time to break into. I mean, they're definitely like a solid leather, but I've seen a lot of girls style these a ton of different ways and rave about them. So I feel like I'll just take a little bit of time. The same way that I have, I would clean all the other shoes would just be with a wet one and like a little um, magic eraser just to kind of like touch up. So super excited about these. I'll link them below. Now, hands down, the sneakers I wear the absolute most to the gym, I would say like literally 90% of the time, are Adidas NMDs. So these guys, I mean, I have had, let me show you. What you guys don't see usually <laughs> would be my shoe rack. So I don't know if you can really see, but I have these NMDs in literally so many colors, and it's literally what I wear all the time to the gym. I like that these are my most worn sneakers to the gym. They are just so light, so soft, um, like to wear. I feel really comfortable in them. They stay on. I mean, of course, you know, you can tie a tighter or looser, but I really like how it just like sits, like how your foot sits into it. And like I said, they just feel really light. So these are definitely the shoes that I like to wear like traveling or I wear my Air Force Ones too, but um, they just, I just feel like my feet have room to expand and like breathe when I'm in them all day. Wear these to the gym all the time. I mean, the treading's good on them. Absolutely love them. I also have like this black color. They have like different versions that are released and come out all the time. I've never owned so many of the same kind, which I think just tells you how much I absolutely love them. Cause I think I have like 10 NMDs. So light, looks so cute with joggers. Um, like I said, I definitely style them more athletically. So I'm wearing joggers, biker shorts. Um, I have worn them with jeans, lighter pair, more feminine pair with like a sweater and jeans just look super cute too. run errands, like whatever. Um, but yeah, absolutely love these sizing wise. I always get a six and a half. I believe, I think I have a pair that's a six and it's fine too. Um, there's just so much room. Okay. Six and a half. So definitely love those. If you are on the hunt of a and need an athletic, athletic sneaker, 1000% recommend the NMD. And then my second recommendation and my second most loved pair from athletic sneaker are definitely the Adidas Ultra Boost. Boost, I think are typically like around 180, but you can watch them go on sale. They do run a sale from time to time, but these are just like definitely like more padded. I don't really run in these. I actually run in a pair of A6 shoes. I did like a test forever ago and ASICs were supposedly the shoe for me based off of like how I run or whatever. But anyways, absolutely love the Ultra Boost and these come in a ton of different colors as well. I'm wearing my usual size, size six and a half. Um, they also have ones that like the stripes are different colors. If you like a more colorful shoe, they have that. If you like more neutrals, they have that. Absolutely love these. These I styled strictly athletic. I guess I could wear them with jeans and like a sweater, but I feel like I have so many other options that can kind of like be styled for like a more casual outfit. So I just would gravitate towards the Air Force Ones or even the Air Maxes, con one of the Converse pairs. But wanted to mention these, absolutely love them. Again, if you are on the hunt and want to splurge a little bit more, a little more comfort, then I definitely think the Ultra Boosts are the way to go. 
Okay, you guys, that's it for my women's sneaker styling haul. <laughs> Let's say that like five times. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I would just so appreciate that. I love seeing this community grow here. I love hearing from you guys when you comment what you wanna see next. I absolutely love that. So please do continue doing that. And if you're new, Feel free to leave me a comment of what you would love to see next. And again, everything is linked down below in the description box, linked in my Shop LTK page. It's a free app to download. Everything is linked there. And if you need anything else, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Enjoy your day. And I hope to see you very soon in my next video.